Hello everyone, we're just going to create a really short video here walking you through how to create your own NFA eForm account. Uh, first thing is you need to go to the eForm website. We're here at lancotactical.com. Go over to store resources. We have the NFA eForm information page. And here we have a lot of information about uh, the eForm system and some helpful suggestions. There's links here. And one of the steps here is you must have a current eForm account to do an eForm. So we'll click that link. It takes us right to the eForm website. Here is where you will log in after you create your user ID. Here is if you forget your password or forget your user ID, you can change it there. You'll scroll down to the bottom of the page. You'll hit register. This is a one page registration form. It's fairly simple. You're going to fill out everything and at the bottom you're going to click register at the end. It will then send you an email confirmation, but we're going to walk through this real quick. Everything is going to be capitalized no matter how you try to type it. Um, so you're just going to put in your email address here. You're going to confirm your email address. You're going to put in your first name middle name if you choose to it's optional and then if you are a junior senior second third you'll select that here title is optional you can suggest owner you'll then select your country of citizenship or country you reside in your phone number will go here if you have an extension or a fax number you can put it there here, you're going to put in your home address and your zip code. When you type your zip code in, it pre-validates it, gets the city already, gives you a list of cities actually to choose from, and then pre-populates your state. You need to create a security question if you have to reset your password. So we'll select what year was your mother born or what city and she was in hometown. Okay, now you have to create your password. It must meet all this criteria right here. 12 characters in length, at least one number, at least one or more special characters, one or more lowercase and uppercase letters, no fewer than five alphabetic characters. So we're going to do all that criteria here. And then it has to match or it will not allow you to continue. Then you'll create a four digit PIN number and confirm it. That is it. Once you have this form filled out in its entirety, it automatically gives you a username right here and you'll just hit register that will send you an email with that username in it confirming everything's good to go when you come into our store there's three things you need to know in order for us to submit an e-form to you first one is this username second one is the email address you use to create your account the final thing is the four digit pin you created here you'll have to enter that in the system when we're at the very end of the process when we're doing an e-form transferring the e-form to you, um, you have to enter that information, your username and your PIN in there to confirm that before you pay with your credit card. Um, hopefully this video is helpful and walked you through the very simple process of creating an e-form. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks a lot.